Hello my soccer universe. It's St. Patrick's Day today and yes, I post it on all my social media channels. I am on Instagram now, you can find me there. Uh, my soccer universe 7, I think some, something like that. Uh, in any case, um, on Twitter I got challenged to kind of show my green shirts and I thought well, this might actually also be a nice idea for a video because I want to do anyway. I mean, a few collection videos, not only showing one jersey, but you know, show a collection of jerseys as well uh, to make it a little bit more fun because I have a few subsets in there. So might be a good starting point for them. But happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. My relationship with the color green and I'm wearing probably the only green jersey in my collection that's really proper for St. Patrick's Day, which is of course the Ireland home jersey. My relationship with green is very weird because when I was a little boy, green was my favorite color. Why? I was and still am hugely into dinosaurs. I have, there are a lot of soccer shirts here, but don't believe it or not, there are also a few dinosaur toys that I have around my desk. And they were given as green. Crocodiles still are my favorite uh, animal and yeah, they are green. So. The problem is that my favorite soccer teams never played in green. What's even more is that Rapid Vienna, that a team that I really uh, like to hate, plays in green and white. And so my love for green that was until up until the age of 10 or 12 or so on, went quickly down with only Cameroon as a possible exception. And to be honest, then when I got into American football, we get to that, the Green Bay Packers, of course, playing green. So yeah, this is where I got my love for green in. And so for the most of the time, I really didn't have green soccer jerseys. And I will show you the first one that I got, and it was in 2010. So it took quite a while. So I want to go through the collection of soccer jerseys that I have that have green at least as a may you know at least as a major accent color. Uh, so you know all these Portugal jer jerseys that have red with a little bit of green don't feature in here. Same thing goes for the African jerseys that I have uh, like Senegal, where there are whole other colors in it. So it needs to be white and green or you know a green it needs to make a splash on there. And as I said. I'm not sure if this was number three or number two, but this Ireland jersey is definitely among my favorites in that one. Um, uh, the most recent green edition is, of course, this sporting jersey back there, which I have to say is absolutely awesome. The long sleeve, and yes, it's green and white hoops and so on, which uh, relates to Rapid uh, a little bit, but to be honest, that sporting jersey is really, really special. By the way, I have a new chair here and now I can actually do proper videos without balancing on a ball. So those are two already and I have 11 more to show you. Um, the first two are arguably ones. It's of course this Barcelona jersey, the 10-11 uh, away jersey. It is more turquoise than green but you know it, it has a green greenish base so I think it fits well in my collection of green shirts. Uh, we have another one, is, and this is the other arguably one, is this Gladbach jersey. Yes, the yellow sticks out, but you know, you have the green shoulders and it is a major accent. Uh, there's white, there's a little bit black and then there, there's green. So I honestly count the Gladbach jersey for sure in my greenish, I mean, it's a white jersey, I would say it's a white jersey, but Gladbach, there's definitely some green there. Another club jersey, and this is a little bit more, it is still a white jersey, but the Werder Bremen jersey uh, with the green sash, that's very dominant green. So uh, we're getting those three, but definitely not green, green jerseys, but we're getting into the territory uh, where I have to say, yeah, this is definitely is green with the green crest. Uh, the lettering is unfortunately a little bit damaged and yeah, it was green as well, but you know, it's a green jersey, it's a greenish jersey as well. Bremen being also one of the few teams in green that I actually did like because the Austrians were playing for it. But you know, I didn't get around to get a Bremen jersey uh, up until uh, last year, uh, finally, I have to say. But you know, I didn't have any Bundesliga jerseys to, to begin with. Let's get into purely green jerseys. And of course, we'll start out with a bang. It's the Italy Renaissance shirt. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's a modern classic. I think it's one of the most beautiful jerseys recently released. Again, with the detail, I have made a video about it. So yeah, it is really nice. It's a proper green jersey. I'm still not quite over the fact that Italy has a green jersey, but you know, 
So be it, I think there is historical precedent for it. We're going, of course, into the African teams. In Africa, these are the ones we have most. Burkina Faso, that's the player issue for the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations by Kappa. Super stretchy, super stretchy. One of my favorite jerseys to wear, although I don't look all that pretty, but it's so comfy. Uh, this is combat skin. It's a really, really nice one. And my girls like it too because of the two horses here. They, of course, big into horses. Why they don't even pick up dinosaurs, I am not so... Uh, I don't quite understand that. Then maybe the most famous one in my green collection, of, uh, historically, although there's another contender, is of course the West. The Cameroon West. And although this is only an M and doesn't fit me very well, it fits Kaka kind of tight. Uh, when I saw this for only 7 euros, I needed to get this one. This is an absolute stone cold classic. And I was happy to get also one with the old lion. Stone Cold Classic, probably, I would say, the most infamous green jersey ever released. More, my first ever green jersey, believe it or not, was this Cameroon jersey for the 2010 World Cup. What sold me is the lion here on the sleeve. Uh, it's a more modern version, but I actually still, this is my go-to Cameroon jersey. It's one of my favorite jerseys. Uh, Look at how see-through this pair pattern is. I, you know, there are some video videos on this out there as well. Uh, really, really nice jersey. I have to say, I love, I still love to wear this one a whole lot, especially in summer. This is a great one to have. Then a very similar one is, of course, the Morocco one. Same, same template, uh, a lot bigger. It is an XXL. But, you know, same time tablet, Morocco is really nice anyway. And instead of uh, yellow, we have white accents. The color, as we figured out, is slightly dif different to the one from Cameroon. But it's another really, really nice green jersey. We have a few more to go. Uh, I will end it. Now let's go to the my US collection before we end it with a bang. Um, as I said, the Green Bay Packers and Brett Favre was my favorite player. So I needed to get, I needed to have to do this. Actually, it's a player issue. Uh, if I wear it, there's a whole lot of space because I could wear this with shoulder pads. It's a really uh, interesting jersey to wear. Maybe a tad too big even because American sizes, but you know, I love this one. It's also one of my favorite jerseys to wear in summer. It is super durable if it's raining outside. Uh, it dries quickly. Uh, and you know, a warm summer day with rain is one of my favorite things. Now again, another arguably one, but you know, it's it's teal, which is kind of between blue and green. But the San Jose Sharks, no, nothing on the, uh, on the back. But it's also one of my favorite jerseys um, in winter to wear. Uh, I really love this one. Uh, the fierceness of the shark, the color is a little bit off. Uh, with it, which is also, I really I really like this one. And let's end the green jerseys with a bang. Probably the one I've talked most about on this channel because of fakes, blah, blah, blah. So of course the Nigeria 2018-19. This particular one is a 2019 one, but you know, it is, except for the tag down here, there's not much difference to uh, the 2018 one. It's one of the most, uh, how, how to say, hyped jerseys out there. And I think it lives up to the hype. I actually, when I saw it at first, I, I didn't really get it, to, uh, to be honest, but I saw it something special. Um, I do have to say that I like it a whole lot and I like it even better than the current one. That goes a little bit too well. But uh, this one, and I know the inspiration behind it, it's one of the great green jerseys out there. And yeah, it has a little bit white there as well and a little bit black, black and white. So that's all. What do you like of my, what, what do you say about my green jersey collection? I said Africa is the main contributor of green jerseys. Uh, that's very, very simple. It wouldn't be anything else. I actually think color wise, the, the jerseys that I have, the color that I have most is probably blue. I want to say, although red is also very prominent. Well, we have to see about that. In any case, let me know what you think about the jersey that I have just shown you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop a line below what green jerseys you have. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to 
wish you a wonderful day. Bye.